lunch, everybody. <clears throat> First thing I want to do is introduce myself to Gary. <laughs> My name is Brooks Patterson. Uh, I'm the county exec. I want you to know that the tax assessor works for me. <laughs> Certainly, uh, a good afternoon, and it is that. Uh, first thing I want to do is congratulate all of those in this room for any involvement you had in making this success come true today. The second thing I want to do is take a polygraph test this afternoon to prove that I was not the one that leaked this story early. Good news has a way of slipping out early, however, and this is good news for everybody. It's good news for General Motors, of course. It's good news for all the employees. It's good news for all of us elected officials who have uh, oversight for this particular community. Matt Gibbs, the township supervisor here in Oregon, you'll hear from him. You've heard from the governor and her commitment to bring jobs to Michigan. And of course, as county exec, uh, I've been working hard and determined to build a, a strong, economic, vibrant county. And as an aside, I'm also determined to keep the pistons nearby. So. In, case, in case some of you didn't know it, um, Oakland County uh, did participate financially in the incentive package that Governor Granham just talked about. Through our Michigan Works program, we were able to commit up to $1.5 million in job training funds to help retrain GM hourly workers to ensure that the Oregon plant becomes a model for the rest of the nation. And by the way, you should know that $1.5 million is the largest allocation of job retraining funds Oakland County has ever made for any single project, which I think underscores our commitment to this facility, to this corporation, and to these workers here today. I'm convinced that with this announcement, we can all celebrate the fact that GM is definitely on its way back to good health and will soon resume its role as a dominant domestic automotive manufacturer in our country. What can I say about the cars that you all build here? Uh, not this year, but last year, the Dream Cruise, I was standing down uh, on Woodward next to a GM dealer named Russ Shelton, a good friend of mine. And I said, wow, look at that car. And Russ looked up and said, that's the new Buick LaCrosse. It was, in fact, a wow moment for me. Now, that's quite a concession coming from uh, a person whose father worked for Chrysler for 43 years. Um, and uh, in a moment of candor, uh, my dad told me once, he said, Brooks, GM makes some great cars but I still want you to drive your Barracuda. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> well, my dad passed uh, on in 88, so he's not telling me what to drive anymore, so I'm looking forward to soon, just looking behind the wheel of the Buick Burano, and I look forward to the production of this plant. So I want here to wish you all good luck and congratulate you, the workforce, what you've done for the reason. Thank you so much, and congratulations again.